You can run, you can hide, you can pray, but everyone pays their debt to the man in black. It's been a while since we've actually reviewed a Hasbro, um, and it's really strange considering the fact that they're still possibly my favorite vintage toy line. Um, to be fair, there's been so many great elites that I've been wanting to catch up on review, so that's kind of what's been dominating wrestling night uh, for the past little while, but I'm glad to finally get to get back to a Hasbro, especially since this is one that I literally just picked up. Planet Fun got an Undertaker and Big Boss Man, and even though I like them both, there's an obvious one to go with in terms of who to review first. From Hasbro's WWF line, this is The Undertaker. Uh, specifically the retail release one, not the special uh, exclusive one that goes for like hundreds of dollars nowadays. This, this is the cheap one. <laughs> To end this her look, and I really love Taker's head sculpt here. Um, it's very cartoony, like it always is with Hasbro's, but I think they just captured the feel of Taker perfectly. Um, and I also love the fact that the hat is so wide that he's always kind of draped in shadow. That's very on brand for Taker. Also, one of the only Takers to have red instead of black hair. Um, even when you get WWE Elites, a lot of times if they do a class taker, they'll give him black hair instead of red, even though he did rock the red hair uh, for a bit in his early career. Um, in terms of the gimmick, it's not the best, but it's still pretty interesting. Anyone who saw my Razor Ramon review will probably be pretty familiar with this. So you have an elbow joint here in the arm, and you have a wind-up waist, so boom, you can either punch the person or clothesline them. Um, it's a simple gimmick, um, and it doesn't look too bad, like you can always fold it back in, and that just looks like a pretty standard pose. So it's better than a lot of Hasbro's, because there's some that just look really bad when they're not using their gimmick. Um, unfortunately, talking about looking bad, you can see I have a good bit of paint rub on the gloves, and even on Taker's beard there. That's just a reality that these things are old, and, you know, kids played with them. Um, but overall, I'm actually really impressed with how well the paint has stayed together on Taker here. Also, this is a really weird criticism, but the thing with Hasbro's is there is no scale, but typically the really big guys are represented that way. Andre is noticeably taller than any other Hasbro. Taker, I think, should be the same way, but he's actually a standard size. You know, a, a character like Mr. Perfect or Bret Hart, who are notably taller than Undertaker in real life, are actually the same height as him, which is fine, but it's something where I think he could have been just a touch larger. Overall though, it's a fantastic taker. 